Alright guys, Q&A time, let's just get straight to it. So this first question comes from Costfast. Number one, is Amalfia still your favourite moon or has it changed? No it's not changed, Amalfia is still my favourite moon, no matter what. If I did choose a new favourite moon, I've not decided on what my next favourite moon will be yet, if I ever did decide to change it. I wonder, what's your favourite galaxy? This is for question two. The Milky Way. Why? It's got like, it's got special things that we discovered, so, discovered, so like, alright, Nebula, um, here, the solar system with all the moons and planets and everything, some cool looking stars and pulsars, like, and all sorts of like, clusters, nebulas, just everything. I just feel like there's something special in the Milky Way that we are in. Number three, when did you get interested into space and why did you start it on my channel? Um, so when did I start getting interested into space? Believe it or not, it was actually in 2019, my, I don't know what month. Um, but I, just, I remember watching like two or three videos based on like the planet sounds and I was like, oh, this is so interesting. And also somehow came across images of like Jupiter's small moons like Amalfia, uh, Himalaya, La Sophia. Um, it did get me interested into space a little bit, but it's not until around February to March of 2020 when when I started looking at the night sky a bit more with Venus, the moon, Rigel, Sirius, Pleiades, Hyades, all those sorts. It just got me into space a bit more. I suppose. And this is where I am now with good knowledge on astronomy. And it's just something special. There's just so much to learn. And I've only just start only just started. Because there's still a lot more to learn about this um topic. So yeah. And why do I start in my channel? I really don't know. Mm. Probably because I remember making some space videos before actually making the announcement of changing my name to Astro Guy and my profile picture. I made some solar system sounds. Um, I remember making a video about what would happen to the moon in 10,000 years from now using this app called Sky Guide. I remember way before then, in fact. What I mean by that is like weeks before. I remember making a video about drawing the Orion constellation, which I'm, I'm alright with now. Um, but yeah, overall, I really can't remember why I started space on my channel. Maybe I was inspired by someone, but I mean, here I am now. <laughs> right, this one comes from Javanese. Um, number one, what is the hardest video I have ever made? Oh, that's a good question. There's actually quite a few of that. Or quite difficult to make. Um, the hardest though, I, oh god, I don't know. Um, let me have a look through my channel really quick. The hardest video I've ever made on my channel, so far basically. Um, maybe this new solar system sounds that I made. It was a bit too difficult because um, I had to do like a few adjustments. Like, I don't know actually. I really don't know which one's the hardest. Um. No, just just try to think which one was the most difficult. The hardest video I've ever made. Either the new solar system sounds videos or the all moon sounds. Either one of those two might be the hardest I've ever made. Let's hope we can reach 10k subs soon. That'll be good. Right, Harper like. Number one, what's your favourite moon apart from Mamafia? Maybe the moon, I know it sounds boring, but I mean, it's just more of observing it from the Earth, like with its phases and going through the total lunar eclipse and solar eclipse and all that stuff. It's, I just think the moon's really good. In fact, that, that could be my next favourite moon if I decided that Amalfia is just not interested anymore, but chances are it's going to be kind of slim. So, but yeah, my favourite moon apart from Amalfia is the moon or lunar, whatever you call it. Number two, what's my opinion on the theory that exomoons exist? I think they do. Otherwise, 
why would be why would we have moons in the solar system but other planets in different solar systems don't have moons you see what i mean what's my favorite pulsar um i know recently i've made announcements that pulsars are my new favorite celestial body types my favorite i've not i've probably said a developed pulsar i mean it looks cool the name is easy for me to remember the rest are like so complicated there's no way i'll be able to memorize them but yeah the vela pulsar is, i'd say is my favorite for now right um i think i'm sorry if i said your name wrong um number one who inspired you to make in the channel no one really i just wanted to make my own videos based on gaming like by my own choice i was like i was thinking of starting a new career i guess into critical ops until I moved to astronomy for I can't remember why <laughs> number two do you think wormholes slash white holes are real that's a good question I really don't know mm, possibly but for that I'll have to do some research on it but yeah I have a 50 50 thinking that white holes do exist but I don't know <laughs> Number three, who thought, who, you, who did I think was going to win the World Cup of 2022? Either Italy, wait, was Italy in the World Cup? I'm sorry, I can't remember. Or Brazil. Um, but I think I was going for more towards Brazil for winning this World Cup. But yeah. I mean, well done to Ar Argentina. What would I do in the future? Oh, that's a good question. Like, what, like, what jobs I might do? Um, maybe become like, well, I guess an astronomer would be what I'm considering, like, going towards, so, like, not necessarily being part of NASA, which would be cool, but there's no way I'm going to have knowledge of what NASA's got thinking, but, um, just thinking, like, working in a small observatory, or, or perhaps if I won't lean into something else, maybe, like, a geologist or a meteorologist but chances are working in a small observatory do you think oh do i believe in nasa they hold secrets yeah i believe in nasa because i mean like they're a big space company so what's there not to believe eh number six do you think the solar system will be um safe in collision with andromeda and milky way galaxies I think it will be safe. I did some research um, some time ago. The distances between the stars are like far away apparently, so meaning there's a less likely collision with stars and I suppose like if that was the case then the solar system will be safe. The only thing like that would be massively different if the two galaxies were to collide like let's say right now is well the galaxy's looks basically so and i guess the name calling it milk dromeda or something like that but only time will tell number seven do i believe that there are aliens oh good question um that is a good question I was, i'm not too sure but i think i think they're real all right number eight do you think that we are alone mm. Maybe not. <laughs> I know that sounds a bit shocking for me to say, but I don't think we're alone in the universe. Because, like, otherwise, why would, be, why, would, why would we be the only planet in the universe with human life? Surely there's another planet somewhere with human life that we just not discovered yet. Because of it being, like, so far away that we can't communicate with them or something like that. I don't know. Do you think that the multiverse exists? Oh, good question. I think I I think I, I think they are. I think there is um some multiverse out there. Do you think we will be able to terraform Mars? Hmm. Maybe. But I think it's more of um. I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, Mars is outside the habitable zone, so. Maybe it might be a little bit 
impossible to make it habitable, but I really don't know. Do you think that there is no universe and that it's just infinite galaxies? Oh god, that's a big question. Oh. Um. I think there might, in fact, be infinite galaxies, that there is no universe at all, or multiverse. But, I don't know. That's a good question, that's a good question. Um, Alright, this one comes from Tim. Number one, do I still play Roblox? Not anymore. I, I, I just lost interest in the app. Number two, what's my favourite planet? Jupiter. Um, number three, which country slash continent? Would I like to travel to once if I had the opportunity to? That's a good question. I've not thought of that yet. Which country do I like the best? I mean, the continent, it will be here, Europe, so. But country, maybe the UAE, mainly because of Dubai. It looks really cool. The city is just fantastic from its looks and it just feels more modern. And in like desert as well, which is Crazy. Alright, Pro Gamer 1911. Number one. What's my favourite Sonic game? I've not got a favourite Sonic game yet, but if I had to pick one, because I only played like two Sonic games, one of them on my phone, which is called Sonic Dash, and one on my Xbox called Sonic Forces. I remember years ago playing this um, classic Sonic game on my iPad, but um, if I had to pick one though, maybe Sonic Forces, because the graphics looks really good. Number two, what's my favourite weather? So I suppose weather condition. Thunderstorms, easily 100%. I just love the sounds of the thunder, the looks of the lightning, and the clouds as well, the cumulonimbuses. And what precipitation falls out of it, so heavy rain, hail, sometimes even snow. So I guess thunder snow. But yeah, thunderstorms are my favourite weather condition. Number three, what's my favourite food slash drink? For food, it'll be pizza. For drink, um, maybe Sprite. I like Sprite. Which country would I like to go to? So, like I mentioned earlier, the UAE, where Dubai is. Uh, this question comes from one of my community posts, in fact. So, here we go. Brazilian mapping. Number one, what's my thoughts on him or her? You're a decent person. Number two, when did I start creating the space content? So looking from my videos, my first space video, which was Orion Constellation Drawing, was pu uh, published in on 23rd of May 2020. But when I started actually like changing my channel, going into prop space content, it was in was on um 26th of June 2020, that's the video I uploaded of announcing a new change to my channel with Astrogyne and all that stuff. And then I started making a lot of space videos since then. Alright, this guy, so it's, not, it's the same user, but he has some different questions. So, is there someone who inspired you, the name of my channel? I think there is. I mean, there's a couple. Astro Biscuit, Astro Backyard. I don't know. Might be those two, in fact. Um, I just thought my name will be suitable as Astro Guy. Because um, it begins with an Astro, which is astronomy, and then Guy, which is, mm, well, I'm more of a guy. <laughs> Question two. Will I do vlogs? I would like to do vlogs, but I don't know when. I mean... I think chances are I will do vlogs in the future, and by that I mean like m months or even years later, I don't know. Whenever I'm older then, and allowed to travel out more, and get driving licence or biking, like, like biking skills or whatever, I might make some vlogs then. But for now, no vlogs planned. Question three, what will I do in the future? So like I mentioned, be an astronomer potentially have a job in a small observatory for telescopes and planetarium kind of stuff and that's about it really so thanks for watching and keep your eyes out on 6 p.m uk time uh this sunday for my star sound video which is my first 
out space hunts video I've made in a long time. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and see you later.